Good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing all right. Um, I am praying for you. I miss you. And I look forward to the time when we can meet again. Uh, I wanted to share a couple of words this morning from Acts chapter 1. I've been studying for the message on Sunday. We're going to be going through Acts chapter 1 on Sunday. And I was struck by the way the book starts. And this is how it starts. It says, in my former book, Theophilus, this is Luke writing. So he, he's talking about his former book, the book that he wrote before, which is the Gospel of Luke. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. Uh, that struck me and the name struck me. And I've said it many times in the last few months that names in the Bible mean something. And uh, many scholars don't actually know who this Theophilus fellow is. Uh, but they, they do know what Theophilus means, and that means a friend of God. A friend of God. And so, in my former book, Friend of God, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. And that's one of the things that um, I want to encourage you this morning with. Acts is written to friends of God. Whether, uh, whether this was a uh, a Roman official or wh whoever this was, the name means friend of God. And I believe that the Bible is useful for us today. And, and it was written for our benefit. And so uh, Luke is Luke is talking to us as well. And he calls us friends. Actually, Jesus calls us friends. Uh, John, 15, John 15 verse 13 says, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. And so this is actually the, the launch of Acts is you follow me. And, 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 and the great thing is we are not strictly servants. Jesus calls us friends because he shares with us what his business is and he encourages us to continue that business. And, and we share in that business. We go and we bring the message of Jesus to the world. We are friends of God. I was listening to a song by Josh Garrels. Uh, called Closer Than a Brother. And I thought this was a, also a wonderful song for times such as this. It says this, Fell on dark days, scared to lose. I cry for you. In, my, in your arms, Lord, carry me through. I won't go without you. Oh, Lord, you're closer than a brother, a friend that I can fall on. And oh, God of my salvation, carried all my burdens on the cross. We celebrated that amazing event that our friend did for us. And then it continues, Greater love has no man than to die for his friend. When I was your enemy, Lord, you came and died for me. Oh, Lord, you're closer than a brother, a friend that I can fall on, and oh, God of my salvation carried all my burdens. That is an amazing promise from our friend. Notice, and I, and I know that most of you in isolation right now, uh, you're probably not living together with your brother. But closer, if, if, if you were to be living together with your, with your brother, God is closer than that. That's an amazing promise. We have that friend with us at all times. I praise the Lord for that. And I hope that that is an encouragement to you today. God bless you. We'll see you soon.